guess who's doing the send-off, Pat, drive out? Jenna. It, it, You're what, 11? Yep. Uh, Dad, you might be in trouble here. And then, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> You just relax and be yourself. <laughs> I'll get us started. Countless times when you, the cars that we're showing and presenting to you guys, you folks are ordering these cars. So hats off to the specs, the combos that you're choosing. I've got another one that I think is extremely unique and very well done. Michael and Jenna are here from Kentucky. What's happening, man? Yeah. Man, you you kick ass. You just make so, <laughs> you so you take such good care of everybody. People yeah. doesn't. Uh, People don't realize how good you take care of them. I mean, wish we could do more. Go wish we could do more. Get this done and get treated like this. I mean, we're not <laughs> your neighbor. I mean, we live. You know, where do you at? Two, four, four hours away? Uh, two, about two hours. Oh, it felt like four. Well, I know there's a couple of people that aren't here today that you wish that were. Yeah, my boy, it's his car. Uh, he's got COVID. Robert, uh, and then your wife Joyce was going to yeah, come my up wife, here too. She was coming up, and then my youngest daughter. But, All right, so. Here's what's interesting. Uh, Dad's doing this, and it's going to be more of a family Corvette, but kind of geared toward Robert. And Robert is how old? Uh, you're going to laugh at me. He's 12. No, you know, I'm not going to laugh at me. I want you to tell the audience because they're, they're like, 12 years wait, old. wait a minute. He's 12 and years old? But you only live once. I mean, I just found out I was adopted about four years ago. Yeah. My dad that adopted me, he kicked ass. Couldn't ask for a better dad. Sweet. So I want to give my boy what my dad gave me if he would have been here. So. Yeah. Uh, I know it's a little early. People probably think it's crazy, but and people teach work. you, and they said, "Well, Robert can't drive this car." And you said, and said "Oh well, no, yeah, he will drive it." And where are you going to take him to drive? Uh, it? We're going to take him to the mall in the big parking lot. <laughs> Watch out for the light poles. <laughs> yeah, I hope the local police ain't watching this. <laughs> They're going to be watching for us. But uh, oh my gosh, well, it's great to see the whole family excited about Corvette. Uh, the spec that uh, we're going to show a little bit more here. Some great pictures in a second, and where that was inspired from. When you get, because you've been up to Columbus yeah, a couple of times. Yeah, we'll talk we, more about that in a second too. But yeah. I, I want to give credit to Jenna. Um, it's great. We're real close to Father's Day here, and you just graduated fifth grade. Yep. And I got to give you a high five. <laughs> a hell of a job. Pardon my French. Uh, <laughs> but I mean seriously, uh, you did a fundraiser for your school to help raise money to build a playground. Okay, mm -hmm. so. You think about that that's a that's a big project so what do you think about it you know a couple hundred bucks a couple thousand dollars listen to how much money because of her marketing her tenacity creativity and effort incredible initiative how much did you raise ninety eight thousand five hundred ninety days, in 45 days in 45 days ninety eight thousand dollars give me another one of those oh my <laughs> god that's incredible nice job Thanks. Nice job. You really knew how to reach people. They responded to you. Uh, and you're in fifth grade. Yeah. Going into sixth. Yep. Yeah, you got a bright future. Good girl. Way to go. Congratulations. Yeah, we're all proud of her, and I think the whole community's proud of her, too. I just make, make sure when it's done, you get the first slide on the slide. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right, exactly. Yeah, she's, uh, she's definitely... Uh, Done a fine job. And wow. She, she made us all proud. How about acknowledging Arby's? Do you yeah, want to do that? Give, uh, over, uh, they give $30,000 and then a bunch of food and a bunch of other stuff. Wow. And offered to do services on putting the playground equipment in. And then we also had the mayor, uh, Faith Day, the, and the city council. They donated 30. They got the whole thing kicked off. I mean, wow. when they give 30 and then day two we're at like 32 grand we're like holy cow well arby's uh, really stepped in and it's great to see they're tied to the community and i'm just kind of bummed about something though with arby's it has nothing to do with the fundraiser because they got rid of the potato cakes man i so mean what's going on? yeah I, well, I love my potato cakes i <laughs> well, you got this you got this ball rolling nice job congratulations she done a fine job we was extremely proud of her and feel like we won the lottery. Well, you got to feel really good, too, because I watched her come out, look at the Corvette, and you had a big smile on your face just as oh, you yeah. do now. You like this car, don't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I really do. What part do you like best about this car? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> haven't decided yet. You haven't decided yet? Maybe there... the part when I get to drive. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, okay. drive a <laughs> She's way ahead of her time. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, let's talk about the inspiration for the spec I made. And there's some pictures that we're going to share in this upload. Uh, you've got a nice yellow car with the silver stripes, yellow calipers. In case you hadn't seen inside, I'm going to show you the gray interior going with the stripe and the yellow seat belts. 
this whole thing just works so well. And you were up in Columbus and you saw one of my customers. Yeah, uh, they Jim, got a car. That's a DJ. Uh, yeah. We was at the car show and it was over a year ago. Yep. And he had had the car and we was looking at it. And Robert goes, that's what I want, Dad. But I want the yellow with the silver. And what we done 15, 16 months ago, we was sitting on the couch and I said, Robert, let's pretend like we won the Powerball. I'll spec a car out. He spec well. He spec one out, and that's what he got. Oh and no, he, kidding! He, and had no idea that this no was idea. actually coming. No, he had no idea. Wow. So, and you know the same thing Jim did. He did a gray interior, and the blue seat belts did the silver yeah. stripes on the rapid blue, and that and yellow he seat belt on the stripes because I wasn't for sure which stripe Jim oh, had, but you knew. Yes. So you made sure we got the right stripe with because there was like a two different color. Yeah. Like of silver. And you made sure we had. It the gets right confusing. One. They yeah. got all these fancy marketing and when names. You look You're online, like, just tell you me what the tell. color is, yeah. right? Yeah, you, you what can't is tell. It? No, way. yeah, online you can't tell. Yeah, it Not looks totally. All. But the seat belts and everything, the way it's exactly the way he wanted, and he wanted to be here, but he's uh, he's locked in his bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to see that other customers and stuff that we're sharing on the channel are inspiring you guys not only to get this car, but to get a certain spec. And and, and sometimes it's tough picking out colors and combos. It yeah, really but, is. You'd have to be ignorant to not ask for your opinion. <laughs> I mean, it's like when you go to do something, when I go to do something, when I built my house and I'd never done sure. framing with tuba sixes, right. down the road they was building a giant uh, nursing home and they was framing tuba sixes. So I'm going to go down there. How do you all do the corners? How do you do this? Right. And they told me everything. So I'm saving time. So when we called you on this, you'd be stupid not to ask for your opinion because bam, bam, you get the answer you. and you're done. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm not the uh, order taker, if you will. I do care about this. Uh, I do have a certain passion for this, and I've ordered cars with Chevrolet since 1995, 96, and have been ordering inventory. This is the first store I've been at that my whole concentration in anything that I order, because ordering trucks is, oh my gosh, it's a headache. <laughs> but now I just do the Corvette, so thank goodness for that. It works out well, and it's so much fun for me to watch the creations, to watch your guys' creations. This is is really really neat man and you've waited a long time and sometimes you guys will do anything you can to get my attention and i appreciate yeah, that and i understand there's no, there's only so much i can do i don't control the chip issue i don't control the production i don't control the allocations we're dealing with so many so many issues in so many different directions you guys have no idea and it's not only, even worth talking about you know we but we sent like three texts in and we're too 15 bad. months but what i'm leading up to though text all the time but what i'm leading up to though and i can't i couldn't find i've been trying to find it in one of my old uploads when you scared the daylights oh, out of me and I did. They're stalking me. Holy cow. He These did. crazy people he in was. Kentucky. I come into my office early in the morning, like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Office is dark. I got the one desk light on, and I'm kind of getting my notes together for a Coffee with Conti show. And I sit on the couch, and all of a sudden I look, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. There's a big, giant. It did it. It freaked me out. There's a big, giant poster on there. Where's my car? No, it's just, I know. I forget what the message was. It was something kind of cute and funny, but I'm like, and it was from Michael. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, that, that freaked me out. out and everything. So I knew that you drove a, a few hours to get up here and they taped it on the outside window of my office and I saw that. So, um, yeah, there's lots of ways to, to get to me and, and, and there's only so much we can do. And it's you good to laugh know. at it now because back then you're like, am I ever getting this car? And I would give <laughs> no, you the same answer, was, man. I don't know. I, I'm trying, man. So thank you fine. for understanding and hanging in there, everybody, including you and your family. Yeah, you all done it. You all done awesome. <laughs>
I think she really is going to do the send off. She she wants to do the drive drive off for the send off. Okay, I'm a little nervous right now, you guys. <laughs> All right, this is going to be for Michael, Joyce, Robert, Jenna, the whole family down in Kentucky. We've got to send off Pat. And then, wait, wait, wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? You gotta be careful. There's a cop right there. Wait a minute. The magic of it. You guys tricked me. <laughs> Let me freak out there for a second. Oh my gosh. Okay. I, I, I think I'm done. I've almost had a heart attack representing this car from all the stress and wondering when, when allocations are coming, but that one almost did me in. What's wrong with you? <laughs> So I'm sitting here talking to Mary Ann, and she says, you know, it feels so good that what? What are people doing to your car? They're taking pictures yes, of it. Absolutely. We're standing there, and people walking by, taking pictures of the car. I said, well, you better get used to it. <laughs> oh, shush. <laughs> Welcome to the National Corvette Museum. Happens every time. <laughs> 